It's that time again. I'm starting a new collection run full of vintage Star Wars action figures, but this time, all of them have to be graded. Am I crazy? Let's go. So, if you're new to my channel, I did a series where I collected all of the loose vintage Kenner Star Wars action figures made from 1977 to 1985, and I started with no figures, and I did a full collection 107 action figures. So if you want to go back and binge watch that, go right ahead. And then come back here. I'm also doing a playset run and I'm in the middle of that. But just like both of those collection runs, on my first episode, I always set up my runs. And I do three things. I set up the rules so you know what to expect. I set up my collection sheet so I know the journey that we are gonna go on, and I inventory what I already have. And if you're unclear as to what toy grading is and what it entails, on the next episode, I'm gonna go over all of that. So make sure to watch that one. And it's gonna clear up a lot of questions that you may have on action figure grading. So let's establish the rules. So obviously, I'm only collecting the vintage Kenner figures made from 77 to 1985 and I'm collecting them loose, meaning that I'm not gonna count mint on card figures in this run. I know that usually I state that they have to be authentic, and that usually rings true, but since I'm grading, even if they had reproduction elements in them, they would get rejected by the grading company. So yes, everything has to be authentic and non-reproduction anyway. So for those of you who are unclear as to what reproduction means, it just means that it has to be made and licensed by Kenner in between the years of 1977 to 1985. And I'm only doing certain variants, and we're gonna go over that in my collection sheet. And all of my grades have to be 80 and above. And that may cause some problems for me, especially if I send these items in. This means I have to be on my game and only send in figures that I think are gonna score an 80 or above, which means I have to really do my homework. But last but not least, I cannot, under any circumstances, use any of what's inside that case right there. All of my figures on this run have to be purchased either already graded or loose to be sent in by me. So let's go over my collection sheet and do an inventory of what I have and what I need. So I made this visual collecting sheet and it allows me to keep track of how much I paid, what I need, and where I got it from. Plus, I could put notes like tracking numbers in case I need to. It keeps me organized and it keeps me on track of where I am in my journey. Plus, it's just fun to come here and when I get a figure, mark it off. It's oddly satisfying. You can get a copy of this sheet for yourself by going to my website. And now, I'm offering sections of this sheet for low prices. So if you don't want the whole sheet, you can just buy parts of it. Or if you only want the section for loose figures, just get that. If you only want the mini rigs, then just get the mini rigs. Or if you want the whole thing, which is the best value, it's up to you. But it's available on my site at thepadawancollector.com. So let's go over my sheet and what I have and what I need. And I have these listed in order of the movie, then the power of the force figures. So starting with the original Star Wars movie, I need R2-D2, and I sent in a Chewbacca figure to CAS, and you can see here that I put what I paid for him, where I got him, plus I put how much it cost me to send in the figure. I put a green checkbox where the figure is to denote that I have him, and I put a red box with an S in the grade section to denote that it's sent in and which grading company I sent it to, in this case, CAS, or Collector Archive Services. So moving on, I need a Luke Skywalker, I have a Leia, but send her in to CAS. I have a Ben Kenobi that I bought for grading, but I put a question mark down because I don't think he's gonna score at least an 80. So I'm gonna have to reassess that one when that time comes up. I have a Vader and I sent him into CAS. I need a small head Han. I need a C-3PO. And on the next page, I sent in a Stormtrooper to CAS. I sent in a Death Squad Commander. I love calling him that. I'm a purist. I sent that into CAS. I need a Vital Cape Jawa, and I may take this one off. We'll have to see. The one I bought in that case, that really hurt my wallet. I have a graded sand person at 85, and that was one of the first figures that I sent in myself. And if you want to watch me unbox that figure that I got graded, here's a link. That unboxing, that was fun. 
which is why I'm doing this whole run. Getting them back is the fun part. I need a big head Han. I bought a cloth cape Jawa graded 85 for $110. I need a Greedo. I need a Hammerhead. I bought a red Snaggletooth for $100 graded 80. And on the next page, I need a Walrus Man. I need an R5D4. I need a Death Star Droid. I need a Luke Skywalker X-Wing Fighter Pilot. I need a Power Droid. And I may get the short V variant to grade. That just means that this section of the figure right here is shorter than what's considered the standard version. I have a blue Snaggletooth that I bought for $725 graded at 80. And I may take this off, but for right now, the R2-D2 from the Droid playset, I need that as well. And moving on to the Empire Strikes Back figures, I sent in a Boba Fett to CAS. I need a Bosk. I need the Bespin Guard A. I need FX7. I need Han Solo, the Hoth Outfit Battle Gear version. I bought an IG-88 for $220, and this is the hollow yellow eye variant graded 85. I sent in an Imperial Stormtrooper Hoth Battle Gear to CAS and this was part of my original collection meaning that it was bought before my very very first run. I need a Lando Carizian with no smile. I sent in two Luke Skywalker Bespin Fatigues to CAS. One I got at the ICCC and the other I got at Star Wars Celebration. I'm gonna keep one and the other one I'm going to give away to one of you. On the next page, I need a Princess Leia Organa Bespin gown. I sent in a Rebel Soldier Hoth Battle Gear to CAS. I need an Orange Snake Yoda. I need a Brown Snake Yoda. I got a Dengar at a flea market, and I forgot how much I got him for, but he was so good, I sent him in to CAS. I also need a Han Solo Bespin Cloud City outfit. I need a Lobot. I need both a purple and a blue Ugnaught, and I may change this to just a blue because I've heard that some grading companies won't grade the purple ones. And on the next page, I have an ADAT driver, but this one is 75. So I'm gonna have to replace him with one graded at an 80. That's just the rules. So I'm probably gonna sell the one that's 75 grade, or I'll just give it away, who knows? And I have a Princess Leia Organa Hoth outfit that I sent it to CAS and I got an 80 grade on that. And that is the red hair variant. I need an Imperial Commander. I need a Rebel Commander. I need a 2-1-B. I sent in a Luke Skywalker Hoth battle gear to CAS. And I also sent in an RTD2 with sensor scope to CAS. I need an ADAT Commander. I need a Bespin Security Guard B. And on the next page, I sent in a Twin Pod Cloud Car Driver. I hate saying that name so fast. I sent that into CAS. I also sent in a C-3PO with removable limbs, and that was in a baggie. I sent that to CAS. I need a TIE Fighter Pilot. I sent in Zuckus to CAS. I need a Forlong. I need a Smiling Lando Calrissian. Now, finally going into Return of the Jedi, I sent in an Admiral Akbar to CAS. I need a Nine Nub. I need Lando Carizian Skiff Guard Disguise. I need Bib Fortuna. I have a Biker Scout, but I haven't sent him in yet. I need a Chief Chirpa. I need an Emperor's Royal Guard. I sent in a Gamorian Guard. I sent in a General Maydeen, and that's the Taiwan Green Hair variant. I sent a Claytu in to CAS, I need a low gray. I sent in a blue saber Luke Skywalker, a very nice one. In a Jedi Knight outfit to CAS, I'm hoping for a great score on that one. I need a Princess Leia Organa in Boosh disguise. I have a Rebel Commando, but I haven't sent that one in yet. I need a Reyes. I sent a Squidhead into CAS. I need a Weequay, I love his name. On the next page, I sent in an 88 to CAS. I need a Clay 2 in Skiff Guard outfit. I need a Nikto. I need an Emperor. I need an ATST driver. So I say ATAT. I also say ADAT. I say ATST, but you can't say AST. Just thought I'd point that out. 
I have a B-Wing pilot, but I have not sent him in yet. I need a Han Solo in trench coat. I need a Princess Leia Organa in combat poncho. I need a prune face. And on the next page, I need a Rancor Trooper. I need a Tebow. And I sent in a Wicket to CAS. And finally, with the power of the Force action figures, I need Lumet. I need Paplu. I sent in an Anakin Skywalker with a baggie into CAS, hoping for a good grade on that one too. I need a Man Man. I sent in Barada to CAS. I need EV99. I need Yak Face. All the expensive ones are the ones I need. I need an A-Wing pilot. I need Han Solo in Carbonite Chamber. And on the final page, I need the Imperial Dignitary. I need an Imperial Gunner. I also need Luke Skywalker Imperial Stormtrooper outfit. Say that one 10 times fast, you can't. I need Lando Calrissian General Pilot. I need Luke Skywalker in Battle Poncho. And I need Ramba. I have the coin for Warrock, but I need the figure. And I only may grade this one with the coin just to do it, just to keep myself entertained during this run. And I need R2-D2 with the lightsaber. So that's my list. That's what I need to complete my run. And some of these figures I said I sent in. Well, we got them back. And in a couple episodes, I'm gonna unbox them and check out what I got. But on the next episodes, I'm gonna go through what grading is and how to send in figures to get graded. So tune in next episode to check that out. Then we go to the unboxing because we have a lot of unboxing to do. If you like this content and want to make videos like these possible, please join the community on Patreon. Membership perks include early access to see videos, member-only episodes, extra entries into giveaways, member-only live streams, member shoutouts, and free digital downloads of my collector sheets and reference guides. Go to the link in the description to become a member of the Academy. So if you found this video interesting, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to see more vintage Star Wars content. And as always, my friends, thank you, and I will see you next time. Am I crazy for doing another run like this? Yes, I am, and cut. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video, or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.